2672 South Deacon Street, Detroit. This was the house where Rosa Parks lived after fleeing Alabama for Michigan. Only it's not in Michigan anymore, it's here in the German capital. When no one in the U.S. showed interest in keeping it standing, the city of Detroit sold it for $500. The fact that for America this house is of no importance, the fact that America, the institutions in America could allow this house to go on a demolition list, the fact that they sold it for $500, the American government thought that this house was worth $500. Uh, it speaks volumes. It's actually evidence of an enormous neglect. New York native Ryan Mendoza brought the house to Berlin, where it now stands in the district of Wedding, following a long journey. Rosa Parks' niece, Ria McCauley, seen here on the left, gave the house to Mendoza as a gift. Last summer, he had the house dismantled and shipped to Berlin, where it now stands on his property. When segregation laws were still in effect in the American South, Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on a public bus when a white man told her to do so. Her act of defiance in 1955 is widely seen as the catalyst that sparked the U.S. civil rights movement. Her role as a hero is undisputed. What's less known is what she faced after the bus incident. In 1957, she fled Alabama with her husband after receiving death threats. They stayed with her brother's family in Detroit, 17 under one roof. Fabia Mendoza, who helped her husband reassemble the house, says the story of Rosa Parks reflects the struggles of many in her circumstance. That was her family's house, and that was a situation which a lot of African Americans lived. No, they came from the south. They went north because, with the hope that they find a better life there, that they find employment, that they can live without being uh, persecuted, and it was difficult. No, as you see, otherwise she wouldn't have lived there with such a big family. I imagine that's. I mean, it's a little tiny house for so many people. The couple put up the funds to transport the house to Berlin, where they were set on having it reassembled as an exhibition. And this is something that the Germans did. They dealt with their past. Um, and this is something that Americans don't like to do. We don't like to admit when we do things that are wrong. We, we prefer, uh, our leaders prefer us to bow down to the flag, as if uh, patriotism were the only thing important. The artists hope that the house will eventually be returned to the United States and stand as a national monument, perhaps in one of the gardens at the White House. But for now, the spirit of Rosa Parks is present in Berlin, in this house where she lived with her family.